Hi guys, welcome back to the Artist Server. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to find and download the LSI Broadcom firmware for the various HBA cards and stuff like that. This is a question that I get quite frequently from various people, uh, either in the YouTube comments or from email or on social media. Uh, people often reach out to me and say, hey, I'm trying to update the firmware on my card or I'm trying to do a cross flash on, on you know, whatever LSI card and I can't find the firmware on Broadcom's website. And the reason is that Broadcom's website is not the most user friendly. If that's you, you're going to want to stay to the end of this video because I'm going to show you how to find the firmware files. I'm going to show you how to find the old firmware files. I'm going to show you where to find the ROM files for the BIOS ROM or the UEFI ROM uh, for your card. Okay. All right. So one thing to keep in mind is that this video is being recorded in 2023 and websites do change. So if you are watching this video several years from now, it's possible that the website will change and it's not going to look the way it's going to look in this video. So this may not help you, you know, if the website's uh, organization changes. And so, you know, anyway, uh, if I'm still around uh, at that time, I might make an updated video. But anyway, this is for anybody who's looking for this stuff in 2023 and possibly in the next couple of years or so. All right. So. You see in front of you here is the Broadcom website. So Broadcom is the uh, company that owns the intellectual property for LSI and a whole bunch of other um, chip designs and stuff like that. So to find the firmware, you need to go down to this link right here. It says documents and downloads. So we we'll go ahead and click on that. All right. So Broadcom sells a lot of different products and so there's this long list of product groups that uh, you're going to have to pick from. All right. So I'm going to first of all show you the more recent stuff and then we're going to talk about finding the older stuff. OK, so. All right. So if you look uh, in this list, you're going to find storage adapters, controllers and ICs. All right. And then uh, over here we can look at product family and I'm usually looking for host bus controllers or HBAs, right? So we'll click on HBA here. Now, if you are looking for the firmware for a RAID controller, you're probably going to want either this RAID controller uh, cards uh, or RAID on chip uh, ICs. Um, this might just get you information about the chip uh, rather than the uh, firmwares and stuff for the card. So I think it's probably going to be RAID controller cards. But for us, uh, you know, since we're always talking about ZFS and Unraid and that kind of stuff, we're going to look for an HBA, which is a host bus adapter. All right. So once you click on that, you go to product name and you can find a list of the various HBAs. All right. So you'll see that there's the 9600 series here. There's some of the 9500 series and one of the 9305, uh, the 9300 series. Um, but you can see that it's kind of limited and that's because uh, Broadcom mostly limits this stuff to kind of their latest and greatest. Okay. So just to kind of get an example done here, uh, I'm going to pick the 9516i card. Okay. And then under asset type, you're going to want to scroll down here and click on firmware. All right. So now if you do a search, we're going to find a, um, a place where we can download the various firmwares for that card, the 9516i. All right, so there's, I believe, different versions. So phase 28, 27, 26. So, you know, you can get the various versions of the firmware. Okay, now 9516i card, great card, but uh, because it's the latest and greatest stuff, it's usually very expensive. And for us home lab users, you know, we can do just fine with a slightly cheaper, uh, you, uh, you know, older generation card. And so, you, you're not going to see that here. And I think this is the thing that probably trips most people up is that they're, you know, trying to follow the process to search for stuff. And all they see is the stuff for the latest and greatest stuff. And they might have, you know, a uh, HBA card that's, uh, you know, a couple generations older. All right. So how do you find that? All right. Let's so let's go back to this uh, search criteria stuff. So the thing that you want to do here is, well, I guess 
this is kind of new. I haven't seen this include legacy products, but that's basically what we're going to do. Um, there's also the way I've been doing it is just kind of coming down here and clicking on legacy products right there. Okay, so now I, I wonder if, so this is, I'm kind of um, trying this out for the first time here. I noticed that there's this include legacy products. So let me click on that and see what that gives me here. So normally I would just pick that legacy products in the menu and not necessarily click on this checkbox, but let's see what we see here. All right, so this, I'm still seeing 9500, 9600 series cards. I'm not seeing any legacy products there though. So I'm not sure that that checkbox really does much. Oh, here we are. Okay, legacy products. All right, um, legacy uh, storage I.O. controller. So it might be that, but I think I want to look for host, but our legacy host bus adapters. All right, so here now we're, we're seeing 9400 series. Oh yeah, here are some uh, much older ones, 92. Okay, so yeah, this is like the SAS 2008 generation, 9208E. Um, let's see what else we have here. Yep, so like one of the most popular cards out there is this 9211-8i. So let's click on that, okay? So, okay, anyway, I guess if you click on this and over here I'm under product family, you pick uh, legacy, under the legacy products, you will get here. Now, another way to do this, let me just kind of um, start from scratch here. So that checkbox is actually new to me. I'm noticing that for the first time, but usually what I would do is go under here and at the very bottom, you'll see legacy products. So pick that, okay? And then we basically kind of do the same here. So we'll look for legacy uh, host bus adapter, and then you'll be able to find all the old, older models, right? So here's the 9211-8i. And we'll come down here and click on firmware, do a search, and here we are okay with the various uh well the the firmware packages for the 9211-8i card so in particular it's this package right here so let me just kind of download that and yep we'll uh agree to this and there is the download okay so here is the file and let me unzip this so extract here all right and I just kind of want to show you the structure of what's in this uh, zip archive. So you're going to want to go under firmware. And so here's HBA 9211-8i uh, IR, and that's the integrated RAID firmware. That's not what you're usually looking for unless you that's what you want. But the IT mode firmware here, which is the 9200-8i IT. So there's this file 2118-it.bin. That is the firmware for the 9211-8i uh, HPA IT mode firmware, okay? Now, that's the IT mode firmware. Also in here, if you look under this folder called SAS BIOS, you're gonna find the mptsas2.rom, and that is the BIOS ROM file for that card, okay? Now, one thing that's missing, and I don't know why Broadcom separates the UEFI ROM, but you'll notice that the UEFI ROM is not here. All right, so how do you find that? Okay, so so far I've shown you guys how to find the stuff for the uh, latest and greatest cards, legacy products. Now, within legacy products, you know where to find the BIOS ROM, but the UEFI ROM is still um, not obviously here. All right, so the way to do that is, remember, uh, we picked asset type firmware. Now, for whatever reason, for the UEFI ROM, uh, Broadcom classifies it under BIOS. Okay, so let's click on that. We'll do the search. Okay, now here we have the BIOS, and then you'll see this UEFI BSD P20. All right, so let's go ahead and download that file. Okay, so I have that file here now. Let me extract that. And where did I go? Where did I go? Okay, here it is. Okay, so. Um, you know what, I have a Broadcom folder to organize this a little bit, so let me just kind of throw everything in there so that um, 
I kind of keep things a little bit neater here. Okay. All right. So list view. All right. So under this, um, so when I extract this uh, UEFI BSD P20 zip file, I get this folder UEFI underscore BSD underscore P20. And in here is the subfolder that has the x64 sas2.rom file. So that is the UEFI ROM file for the 9211-8i card. Now you also notice that there is a folder called signed, and this is the signed version. So if you are, um, I think, booting in secure mode or something like that, you need to have these um, UEFI ROMs signed, and that would be the signed version if you want to do that, okay? So that's where you get the UEFI ROMs. Okay, <clears throat> now one final thing. So now you know how to find the latest and greatest firmware for the new cards. You know how to find the firmware for the old cards, and you know how to find the UEFI ROM for the old cards. Um, one thing that's still missing is, uh, let's say, um, well, let me just blow this up. Okay, so let's say for some reason, you need an older version of the firmware, okay? So some people need this because, um, I'll give you an example, some of the ProLiant um, HP servers have a conflict with the uh, LSI ROM. So some of you guys may have run into this or if you know, you've talked to me about it and we, we've, we've uh, worked on resolving this before, you'll, you'll be familiar with this. But in situations like that, uh, there's no update to the HP firmware to fix this, so kind of the workaround is to um, downgrade the BIOS ROM on the LSI card in order to kind of avoid that conflict. Okay, so you want an older version of the uh, of this firmware packet. So basically, we want an older version of this MPT SAS two dot ROM file, right? And this is with the latest and greatest P twenty. And that, you know, let's as in this example, that is a problem with the server that we're using, or you know, if you have an HP ProLiant server. All right, so how do you find the older versions? This is 20.0.7.0. You click on archive over here, and now you have access to the older versions, right? Here's uh, nine, version 19, um, version 18, version uh, 17, and so on and so forth. All right, so. You know, in our case, actually, I believe the uh, the ProLiant um, server conflict um, can be resolved with this version here. So we can click on that and get that downloaded. All right, so here it is. Let me kind of throw that in here. Um, huh. Well, that's interesting. I have two files that appear to be almost identical. All right. Um, this one is the one I think we just downloaded. So, okay, the difference here is this has an underscore between the 11 and the 8, and that has a dash. All right, so anyway, um, I don't know. Is this going to... Let me just extract it. Let's see what happens. Okay, so here it is. All right, so... In this case, now we have the older version of the ROM file here um, under um, under this, you know, 9211 underscore 8i uh, subfolder, okay? So that's how you find older versions of the firmware files if you happen to need that. All right, so anyway, I hope this helps you guys out. I know a lot of people have been asked me, asking me this question. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you like this sort of stuff and you're into building your own home servers, consider subscribing to the channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss my videos. Also, if you want to support my channel, go check out my eBay store. I have the greatest selection of pre-flashed IT mode HPA SAS controllers for your ZFS, true NAS, or Unraid builds. So go check out the link down in the video description. Thank you very much, guys, and have a great day. Bye-bye.